Good day, everyone. Good day, my brethren. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, good evening. The place or your location. God bless you. Let's come to my channel. This is Peter OTV channel. If today is your first day of coming to this my channel or come across my channel, please kindly press the red button at the corner there. Subscribe and like and share. God bless you. If you have subscribed before, please like the video and share. God bless you as to do so. Um, it has been a while I've been here, but doing to work and everything, uh, one thing or the other, I have not had a chance to do, uh, you know, to come out here. But today, thank God for His mercy and grace and the ability that He gave to me to be here today. God bless you all. Uh, uh, today's topic uh, is a destiny for greatness. So before we go into that, we need to close our eyes as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, we bless you, Holy. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, O oh Lord, you make me to be here today, O oh Lord. May your name be glorified. Lord, make us the hearer of your word, the hearer of your word, O oh Lord. Father, whatever we are going to, whatever we are going to use your son to say today, O oh Lord, may we use it as your as your purpose. Let it be for your will in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Brethren, God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. Hey, Malie Kadaba Kosetin Lale Makud. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Yeah, please, uh, if, you are, if you are with your Bible, if you are with your Bible with you there, please turn with me into the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33. Hallelujah. Amen. So we don't have much time. Let's quickly turn it. Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33, it said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all those things shall be added unto you. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. So, what is, is he telling us? If we want to be great in life, or if we want to be rich in life, or whatever we need, we need, we need to become a, a somebody in life, all we need to do, we need to seek him first. We need to seek the kingdom of God. We need to seek in presence. We need to die with the Lord. We need to walk according to His purpose in life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's turn to the book of Romans chapter 8, verse, Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And it said, And we know that all things work together for, do, for them that love God, uh, to them who are, are the call according to his purpose. Hallelujah. You see? Everything works together for good. For them that love God. If you love God, if you're doing his will, if you're doing his purpose, every man have his purpose of doing this life. We all have an assignment. All we need to do, we need, we need to do, we, we, are, we, need, we need to do the purpose of God in life. As he created us, we, the, we need to fulfill our assignment before we go back to him. We all have an assignment. As you do so, the Lord bless you. Amen. Praise God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Now let's see the book of First Peter, chapter 2, verse 9. The book of First Peter, chapter 2, verse 9. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, But ye are a choosing generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people. They ye should shed forth his praise of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The God has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Why will you not give him praise? Why will you not serve? Why will you not humble yourself? Why will you not lose yourself before the Lord? God bless you. You begin to thank, give glory to other people. God see, see, see you through, deliver you from all for your, your situation. Then you will add giving glory to man. Why will you do such things? If you do such things, there's never a time that you will be, you will be, you will be great in life. If you want to dest if you want your dest your destiny to be great, do the God way. Do his purpose. We are the choosing one. God and make all the choosing one in life. So walk according to 
your purpose in life. We, as I said before, we all have an assignment. We, we need to make sure that we fulfill our assignment in life. Please, there's no time. There is no time, brethren. If you look at this period of this pandemic all over the world, it shakes all over the world. Even the economies of the world is shaking right now as, I talk, as I'm talking to you, brethren. You may see it on the news, you may see it on social media, but just one man did that evil. But that is in that way. But the Lord that delivers you, you, your loved one, your children, your, your, your church, and brought you into life, that saved you. He saved you. That is the life that, the life that he gave to you. That is the mother of life that he gave to you. Because coronavirus is the disease of darkness. What the Lord deliver us from it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now let's look at uh, Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. Let's see what the Lord said there in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Brother, are we there? Are we there? So I think the time is about to against us, but let's try our best. Let's try our best. Let's try our best. Let's try our best. Galatians chapter 2. Galatians chapter 2. Verse 20. Right? Okay, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not. I, but Christ live in me, and the life which I know live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. The Lord that crucified, the Lord died for your sake. He died for me and you, for we to have everlasting life. Do you remember this verse? This is a popular verse. John 3 16. For God so loved the world and gave his holy begotten son. And we may not perish that we shall have everlasting life. Now, look at this verse again. I am crucified with Christ. We are crucified with Christ. So, you need to die with the Lord. You die with the Lord. Let as God the Christ live in you. So make sure you possess that in live by faith with the Son of God. You need to live by faith with the Son of God so that your, your purpose in life you may be fulfilled. Your destiny for greatness it will be accomplished. Praise Master Jesus. Praise God. Praise Master Jesus. Now, let's go to Genesis chapter 12 verse 2. Genesis 12 verse 2. Genesis 12 verse 2. See what the Lord said. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee. I will make the name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. Hallelujah. But the only way you can achieve those things is, is only one thing. Lawyer yourself, bow before the Lord. As He crucified, as you crucified with Him, as He died for you, that He lived in you. All you need to do, live by the faith of the Son of God, which is the Christ Jesus. Seek Him first for the kingdom of God. Do the right thing you need to do in life. Don't let people deceive you. But there is no man of God. There is no man. All man of God they eat money. The, do you know the reason why God killed all the firstborn of Egypt, both the beasts and all everything, every animal, all the firstborn? The Lord said it was a, a sacrifice. It is a sacrifice. It, 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 it used the blood to that sacrifice of the firstborn of Egypt. It is a sacrifice. Your sacrifice you need to do. It doesn't mean that you have to go to church. If you do that, it's the best way. God, we can still hear your prayer. But you just volunteer. Just say, ah, brother, sister, I bless you. That is also a sacrifice. You can volunteer and say, okay, now, you want to trust somebody. To your commission, this person, I want to, I'm going to train you from the, from the kindergarten to university. It's a vow. Or you want to be paying somebody for our strength. Anything you can, you can do for people is a sacrifice as well. God killed all the first, the thing called firstborn in Egypt. 
that he can brought the uh, Israelite out of darkness. There was in darkness in Egypt. But all you need to do, seek him first. God said, God, God never failed, God never lied. As he promised he do. But did you obey him? Did you obey him? If you obey God, and this, the, all that he said in the, concerning you in this verse, Genesis 12, verse 2, he said, And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make the name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Hallelujah. I pray for you today. As you hear the word of God, as you obey the voice of God, may God bless you. May God make you great in any nation you are in the name of Jesus. All that you lay your hands, your hands, hands, hands forth, it shall be blessed. You shall be destined for great in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you great in the, in the nation you are right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for answering our prayer for you, in Jesus' name. Brother, thank you for being with me today. God bless you. Then you can share this word of the Lord, share it to people one one way or the other. You can share it to your friends on WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram. The way you can tag people, share it. God bless you as you do so. Amen. See you next time on my next video. God bless you. Bye.